Okay, who's your daddy this week at Mr. Land Cruiser? I'll tell you, it's the sales team. So this week we're gonna do a yard walk around, but we're gonna start in here at the hub, the heart, where everything unfolds. What you might not know is uh, we sell a lot of stuff. Well, you probably do know we sell a lot of stuff, but it takes a lot of work. We've got two guys in here full time doing R&D on putting new stuff into production, uh, finding parts that are hard to find, be it genuine, uh, aftermarket or what have you. So we've got Terry spends a lot of time on, on the IT and the new websites coming. And Mick here right in front of me is your main uh, social media guy. When you send us a social media um, or ring the phone number, Mick knows parts. He's got big years of experience. He's even driving a Land Cruiser himself. Wrong. So you're in good hands with Mick and Terry. They're both Land Cruiser guys. But let's go out. That's enough, Yibba Yabba. Come on, let's go and see what's happening with the cars in the yard. Daddy, chill. If you watched last time, so we've got a couple of regulars still here. We've got, um, that's gonna be here for a while because we're building it. And this one's changed sides because it's, it's road testing now. So we're um, actually driving the resto. But look at this, this is a bit of show and tell here. The customer's done this one himself. And it's a HJ47 and it will walk past and have a look at the motor and stuff. But it is so shiny. Now it's our job here at Mr. Land Cruiser. We uh, rebuilt the engine. We did the full engine, pump, everything. At home, Tim's done all the work himself. Now it's our job to plumb up all the wiring, get the fuel running through there, start it up and put the uh, initial running of it and the initial uh, kilometres on this vehicle. So it's only just arrived. There's a little bit more to do. Um, ja Jack's having a bit of a tickle with this 60 at the moment. This is a HJ60 that is it was basically service, but she's having some overheating issues as well. So um, there was some aftermarket stuff on there that uh, doesn't belong there. So we're removing that as well, putting it back to how Toyota had it and making sure she don't overheat. And Mr. Reeman owns this one, Scotty. Um, if you're watching, look at that nice shiny with um, the guards and stuff are off because we're working on the power steer. This is getting a full 60 series power steer. And this is where you can see the highlight of all the boxes being done. Um, the McKinnon shock towers and we'll start assembling through to the steering wheel now all the columns and the knuckles and everything in place and the boys are working frantically on that one and over my shoulder we have the troopy now this one this one's done but we've come in under budget and we try and do that we do these reports they go well how much is that going to cost me we do an estimate because you never know with an old car this one's actually come in a little under so we've got a little playroom to add a couple more little items on this one while it's here at Mr. Land Cruiser. Really cool. I'm gonna um, go in a hole here. I'll have to reverse a bit, but uh, this one, the big V8, I believe it's an LS1 and it is a powerhouse. Now this one had a report done as well. The guy that owns it's really clever. He's gonna do some himself and we're gonna quote up some ourselves to get it all uh, where it should be roadworthy wise, safe, and everything like that, so can't wait to get her hands on. We haven't even touched this one yet. Next to me, this one is a doozy. She was a man's daily, it's a beautiful truck. Great, straight, early condition. Even the bezel's even up the right way. Now this one came in for a five speed. A five speed on a job like this is absolutely massive because we put the, the handbrake on the rear axle. This is the incorrect axle, so we'll change that over, but Sometimes we have to reject them when they come in. This one, uh, it came in, we've started it up. That motor, the motor's not in a good place at all. So we're not gonna take the gentleman's money. We're not gonna put a five speed in it. We've alerted him to bigger issues that really should be addressed before we go the um, any mods or upgrades. And it's here while he decides which path to take. And we can't wait to help him out on his journey. A few regulars here. We finally picked up the um, chassis from McKinnon's. It's here, up on the container behind me. It's here. And so, not for another month or so. Now, a big reason we haven't started this, that the client has said, well, if, the, if we're going to change chassis, is now the time to uh, throw the 2F out? So, he's looking at the 1HDT. So this one's a new chassis, 1HDT, power steer, it's full kit and caboodle. This one you'll uh, see here for a long time because we're going to do a lot of work on it. 
old Richo. Richo's um, coupe, young coupe that works here, has changed out some uh, rust in the front for non-rust, and Richard's ready to put another donk in there. Mick has fully rebuilt him a five-speed, so no point putting the engine in with some shiny bits. We may as well do the uh, the five-speed as well. So this one's got to be ready, and it's got to be ready soon, so Richard can put some Ks on it before the long drive. Oh, Betsy, oh, Betsy's just waiting for a few things. Got to check this out. We'll end up here. Now, um, I'll quickly say there's a couple. There's always lots going on. This one's been finished for a while. Uh, the client lives out of state. Now we have New South Wales, New South Wales, South Australia. Pretty cool thing about Mr. Land Cruiser is uh, we get them from all over Australia, even WA. Why? Because we're the best. We'll tell you that because we know it. And our clients are really happy with the work. So they ship them from all over Australia. We fully deck them out with whatever their requirements and then they go home again. But I make sure I put a few Ks on them myself. Over my shoulders, Tom, power steer, it's done. It's ready to go. It's been done a few days. Look at this. Mr. Doyle owns this. I've traveled um, with Adam, the owner of this, and his son. We've done long drives together and what have you. This is a really cool rig. Dad's got one, son's got one. Now, the daughter has one and they've just dropped this off fresh this week at Mr. Land Cruiser. So again, uh, it's done at home, father, daughter, son, they've built this. Now it's time for Mr. Land Cruiser to tweak some of the electrics, to get a run and to put some Ks on it, to go through it. This one will be on the long drive for a drought this year. So um, we'll get to a tour with that one as well. And that's it. Oh, look, there is more here. There's one hiding in the corner. I've got to tell you about our Luxie. I did a TikTok on the Luxie and it's gone crazy. The Luxie's done. 929,000 Ks. I can't wait to see it hit the million Ks. So it's well, I've been, the question is how many engines that, how many clutches? I don't bloody know. The engine has had work for those Ks though, believe you me. And this is the last one in the yard for this week at Mr. Land Cruiser is this touring beast. We haven't started it yet. It's only just rocked up under the tree a couple of days ago. Can't wait. It'll get a report. It'll get a few extra requests from the client, but this is sort of my dream rig here. Stuff you can tour, live, just lifestyle. Isn't she a beauty? I can't wait to drive it. Now that's the mad chaos in Mr. Land Cruiser this week.